Yo Pablo, you don't know. What's up guys, welcome back to another video of the life of Pablo. <laughs> this video is gonna be a little different, something new I'm trying, which is voiceovering on the video rather than me talking. Mainly because in these type of crowded areas, you can't really hear my voice as well. And then I also want you guys to take in this video. All right, so today we are on Tino Beach. Why are we on Tino Beach? Because we are having, we are celebrating a Gombe festival that happens uh, July month. All right, four, four Thursdays in every July month for every year. Now we hadn't had this in two years because of COVID and everything else. We had a delay on this. Look at the pretty costume. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. You know what I mean? But yes, so there's a lot going on in this video. I want you guys to take in beautiful sights, the colors, uh, the food. Listen, the little bit of people you saw in the first clip just now, you're gonna see even more people. I'm, I'm talking about a lot of people. Um, quick update, this year they did it a little different. Usually, Gome ends with uh, a Junkanoo rush out, but they did it earlier and they had one later, which was very different, which was kind of nice because um, Gome doesn't end until about 12 midnight or sometimes one o'clock in the morning. It's a nice festival. Um, and then you have it whereas they usually end with it so it makes it you know even better but because they didn't they started with it and then now they end with it people get to enjoy it twice and i think it's pretty cool so here's what we're gonna do we're gonna listen a little bit take on taking all the junk and and then i'll get back to explaining how gombe goes all right good big memory hey everyone know where you are and let them lay out in a great time right here on table let them know Gombe is back in a big, big way, in a grand way. Please stay grand. tried my best to shoot um the all the vendors and all that other stuff i wanted to walk down the line to try to show you guys what everybody's selling but that was impossible because hey it's a lot of crowd a lot of people and i didn't come early i'm sorry but usually the food is native food um you know regular dinner foods and stuff like that peas and rice uh big macaroni and great stuff like that um and then People try to, you know, do a little conch salad. Now, usually conch salad is made individually, but the lady had so much orders that she had to put it in a bowl. Um, and there wasn't no complaints about it from anybody, so I'm guessing that the conch salad was pretty good. People liked it. Now, middle tent here, right here, guys. This is where all the straw makers, all these mostly are handcrafted, I'm telling you. These people are talented, all right? These here was shirts that was printed and made that i actually liked and it, it looked really nice really nice um this next one here now this surprised me because i've never seen this before but someone told me that it actually tastes 
good, but it's strong. It's locally made coconut rum. And the shirts was pretty cool too, but I didn't get to try none because I heard it was pretty strong and I wasn't in for drinking, none of that. And I guess we gotta get back to the entertainment portion, um, which was actually really, really fun to watch. Um, I'm gonna let you guys enjoy it. I'm gonna let you guys watch it. And um, I'm gonna be back with more information for you guys. All right, cool, great. not tell me that you did not enjoy that just now come on and it was more to go but where i was i was trying to shoot other stuff and then i had to try to catch the entertainment it was so much it was a lot going on at the same time i tell you Kumbe bay festival man it, it, it's a lot going on it's a lot to do it's a lot of entertainment and there's a lot of things you can take in from going to Kumbe. i mean come on look at this crowd of people look and this wasn't even the people that was behind me shopping and buying food and stuff like that. You know what I mean? But Gombe Festival happens every Thursday in July. Um, initially, it happens right after our independence. So that's how that goes. Um, but two years, we didn't have it because of COVID. And so I guess where well, everybody was really excited, something to do on the island, they had a really great crowd. So now, as you can see, we're coming down to the last portion, which is the fun portion. Like I said, how Goombe goes. Um, and this was early, to be honest. This was like 11, 11.30 or so. Whereas Goombe, I think, we, we left a little bit early. We left like just about right after the junk canoe. They had a little um, entertainment afterwards. So Goombe doesn't shut down probably until 12.30, 1 o'clock. You know, but this part is what everybody comes out for. Everybody loves everybody pulls out their camera for and why not the colors the sights the sounds that's what it's all about all right guys so watch this i'm gonna let you guys enjoy this last portion of the junk canoe please do me a favor hit that subscribe button hit that like button and i hope you guys enjoy the video all right Great.
Bye, have a great time. Si no sleep, late night. Si no sleep, early morning.